Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician here, and today I want to show you a quick tip on how to use VST type instruments with Reason. Uh, I think this is 7 and beyond. It's a really powerful tip. I didn't even know this existed until about a month ago, but it's awesome because it allows you to tap into your contact library or your iTunes library or whatever. Um, so it's pretty simple. You start by using an external MIDI device instrument from Reason, and then you're gonna need to download a piece of software called Loop MIDI. Just search for it. You're gonna hit the plus sign to create a send channel, and I just labeled it to Machiner, but that's another piece of software I use. And then from the drag down menu, you're gonna wanna select the two, whichever one, it doesn't really matter what it is as long as you know what it is. So this is the one I chose. Now you go to contact and in contact under your options, you would just make sure that the same channel is selected as the input. That's the important thing. It doesn't matter what it's called, just as long as A goes to A or you know monkey face goes to monkey face or whatever the hell you wanna call it. So you also want to make sure that there's a shared audio drive there. Uh, that's very important because that'll allow you to control both or to monitor both. And so now I'm playing MIDI data in Reason, but it's coming out of contact. So I'm just going to record a quick stupid phrase here um, just so you can see how it's working. So there's my MIDI data. And that's being processed and sent to contact. So we'll see, I can tweak the instruments in contact or add a new one. Uh, you know, turn on the filter. And it's basically almost like having the instrument in Reason itself. Although what I will say is it's much less stable than contact would be on its own, as you'll see. Um, I'm gonna show you some examples. So partly I think it's because I'm running the video capture software that it's not working as well, but partly uh, it does struggle a bit more than it would in its native environment. Nonetheless, it's super powerful. So here you'll hear, you'll see that this Alicia's Keys, which is a big plugin, just goes crazy. But it's easy enough to fix. You can either restart the program, um, the contact program, or you can even just X out of this specific uh, virtual instrument. You can try and purge the samples. It doesn't always work, but using a smaller sized instrument will solve it, as I'll show you. You just X out of it. Um, sorry, I guess, I don't know what I'm clicking right now, but X out of it there, and then if you load a new smaller instrument, things will be fine. Um, and if you find this tip helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos for you, but I don't, it helps me know what to make by your comments and by what you like and what you dislike. Um, so now to record this, you have to create an audio track, and I'm plugging the outputs of my audio interface into the inputs of my audio interface, creating a loop. But what I did is mute the monitoring of it. So now we have it recorded there. You can see the waveforms. I muted the MIDI, 